<clears throat> Dave's an asshole. Now. Right, Look at that, bro. <laughs> Dave's an asshole. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to The Creative Contrast. My name is David J. Folda. And I'm John Carlo Pallet, better known as GC. And today we are joined by the wonderful Kathy. Yay! Hey. And uh, what's your Instagram? K Christmas. Like the tree. <laughs> so today we're doing something kind of special, something that we haven't done in a while. Got the challenge cup, doing another challenge video. So, Kathy, please pick out one of the challenges for us. Drum roll. And the challenge is? The dollar store. <laughs> okay, so. All right, all we, right. We put this one in almost as a joke. Uh, the idea is that I am going to buy a random prop from the dollar store that John Carlo has to take a photo with. And the same thing goes with me. Now, the thing being is, can we set a price limit? Everything at the dollar store is under $4. So. Anything under four dollars, and anything we find there. Anything you find at the dollar store for under four dollars, yes. Anything you find under four dollars. All right, pass me one thing. One thing. Just gotta outline the rules. Just saying. <laughs> All right. So this is just a fun little experiment, thinking of things on our feet, trying to create a beautiful image with a very random prop. Like it might be a stupid toy, it might be tin foil, it might be like. Something you put in front of your lens that John Carlo hates. Yeah, no prisms, please. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, head out to the dollar store and get started. Shopping time! Yay. Woo! Yeah. So we're at the dollar store. I'm trying to find something for David. And uh, we don't know. <laughs> Cause I don't know what he's gonna pick for us, so there's too many amazing choices. And by amazing, I don't really mean amazing. <laughs> I'm looking for something that's either really ugly or like a prism that he will hate. Between this, he's nearby, so I want to say what it is. It's just like, what the fuck is he gonna do? David? I have a couple of ideas. I have a couple of ideas too. Don't worry, I'll just pass you, no looking down. I level, I level, I level, I level, good, 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 all right, good, and... All right, all right, that's good. Okay. Let's see. All right. <laughs> and we're back in the studio, back where it's warm, and I have my little gift for Giancarlo. And I have mine for David. So while we were in the store, Giancarlo had two items and he told me if I was being nice or mean. And I told him I was being really mean. So I took the high road and I was still nice. And I got him a nice, nice little prop. Yeah. Okay. So Giancarlo, here's your gift. Thank you, David. Here's yours. Enjoy. Oh, this is easy. Not, see? Gave the grass, yeah. See? I knew nice. so much with this. It's colorful. easy, but you probably have to clean it up, so it might be kind of... <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> but it's colorful, see? Yeah, see? yeah I'm nice. excited for this. I'm, my mind's already turning. You were really see? nice. Thank you. Nice guy. Remember that. Angel. All right. This is... Oh, my age. I saw that! I was yeah. going to get one. I was going to get one of these. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so um, weird that. So, ladies and gentlemen, like we have a classic cup and supporter <laughs> from the dollar store. I don't even know if I would trust this. Okay, and it's large. Large size. Great. Okay, so this is fun. I have uh, absolutely no idea, but I think I have an idea. Actually, yeah, I have an idea. This is okay. good. So, uh, because I was given the easy one, I guess I'll go first to let John Carlo have a little bit more time figuring out what he's gonna do. Yes. So uh, let's go.
that was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um, that Easter grass got everywhere. And, you know, my first thought was to do it like hair. And I realized that in black and white, it catched the light really beautifully. And I, I could make it look like an expensive necklace. I thought it looked really high fashion. <laughs> <laughs> And here I was trying to give David, even though I was being nice, I was trying to give you a bit of a challenge. Um, like David mentioned, I thought he was going to use it for hair, but the fact that you made it into something else, like a necklace, good, good thinking on you. Good job. And what did you think of the jockstrap? Uh, it was a challenge. Um, it, it was very funny, but once that uh, once the laughs were subsided, <laughs> I really had to put my thinking cap on to figure out what I'm going to do to, I mean, not only sort of compliment Kathy, but how she's going to manipulate this thing this jog strap and immediately i thought of sort of the 90s you know street fighter sub-zero comic book type characters Maybe the like bane, bane, thing, yeah, like bane. Yeah. uh and so what i wanted to do is i wanted to again think outside the box and not make the jog strap look like a jog strap so i wanted to burn it and de-stress it and mark it up a bit cut you know cut up a bit as well um and i think it did, you know, it looked pretty decent. Um, it still is a jock shop, and uh, thank you for braving that. Uh, but, you know, I gave it a go, and I wanted to, again, get that really dark, edgy yeah. look. So the one thing, obviously, with the jock shop, or even with, with the, the grass, if you will, uh, the grass hair, is whenever you're faced with an objection or, or an obstacle, rather, you have to think outside the box or creatively to make that work. Usually, the, I think the simplest way is to manipulate that object. So in my case, it was the jog strap. Um, obviously, it goes in the lower region. It's usually for a male. But in this case, we used it sort of on the face like a mask, right? And treat it that way. Uh, and yourself with the grass, I mean, you could have put it as hair. That's the simplest way. But you thought outside the box, and you love the reflective aspect of it. So you made it to like a necklace. Um, so again, always think outside the box. And there is no wrong way of doing it, um, except for using it literally for what it is, right? That's not the objection. So yeah. I think this was a really great scenario to flex those creative muscles and really show off what we can do. And uh, yeah, I think, though I don't think I'll be shooting with Easter grass again, it was, it was really great to think outside the box and try and make something so cheap look almost high fashion. Well, and one thing more to add is, at times I think as creatives, we tend to think in terms of photography that it's just yourself, the subject, the camera, and or the fashion or whatever the case is, or the lighting or all the setups. But sometimes it's also manipulating what you have on set, whether it be an Apple box, whether it be an actual piece of fashion that you know you might want a certain way, but if you manipulate it or twist it or add something to it, it adds a different dimension to it. So it's, really, it's going above and beyond, I think, that adds, adds that extra you know, spark, if you will. Thank you guys so much for watching this rather strange video. If you like it, give it a like. If you didn't like it, still like it, please. And if you guys want more odd content like this or our more traditional tutorial videos, hit subscribe down below. Absolutely. We love hearing your feedback. Please post a comment and let us know, you know how we could have improved or even if you've done a challenge like this with your friends. It's always fun. If you have any challenge suggestions for us, let us know down below and we'll add it to the challenge cup. And if you have any other outside of the box ideas we could have used our props for, let us know. And as always, stay, stay creative. creative.